What's up, man? JC Wrong Strong. You know, uh, some uh, some things have been popping off in Chicago and the Cook County. You know, uh, there's been uh, gang attacks going on and on and on. There's 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 a big war going on. There's there's some stuff that's about to like go down. You know, it's like they're throwing more wood and more wood into the fire, and and um, you know, they don't. They don't realize what they just did to Chicago and all the gangs out there by picking up all the leaders that they did. The feds came in, did a big sweep. They picked up, you know, they did a sweep on the deuces. They did a sweep on the kings. Two, six, the, the, I mean, everybody, the SDs. And it has created chaos throughout the whole city and... Now they're, they're, they're dealing with the repercussions of, you know, shootings after shootings and, and stuff that's happening in Cook County. And it's crazy. It's all out war. And it's, you know, it's a new generation out there. So let's get into this video. Room. It shows similar violence inside the jail. Nearly seven minutes after the beating ended, Cook County Sheriff staff enters the day room. Inmates are cuffed, so is the victim. He's taken to a hospital and treated for puncture wounds to his head, neck, and back. The police report says the officer that had been assigned to this area was securing inmates in another part of that section of the jail when the attack happened. Cartel got me working for the big faces Federally got my car full of brick cases Hit the pen with a grin, there ain't no faking Eyes picked to my back for my shoelaces Got out, should've seen the look on they faces All jealous cause your boy stacking hella paper Set up by the crew, they done put a banger In the trunk of my car and left me to hang there No thing, then attorney went and beat the case Got a job digging holes for minimum wage Had a dream that Cato said he proud of me Stay here, don't leave, keep doing your thing Quit the drugs, but you know I went back to selling Six time failing, I went back to prison Got my head right, got my bread right Push these weights like a kilo in a tailpipe Trying to do right, I got a mission Trying to get back to my boys in the prison The old me's gone, I ain't never gonna miss them From wrong to strong, stay true to the vision From wrong to, to strong From wrong to strong from wrong to, to strong From wrong to strong Gang member, all of it inside the Cook County Jail. 24-year-old Christian Gonzalez is facing first-degree murder charges. He's been in custody since June on several other charges, including attempted murder. Sources tell CBS2 early Saturday morning, Gonzalez told an officer something was wrong with his cellmate, Pedro Ruiz. When backup officers arrived a short time later, they found Ruiz on the floor of the cell, covered in blood. While officers tried to save Ruiz, Gonzalez was handcuffed. Ruiz's death has been ruled a homicide. Sources say Gonzalez... What's up? JC Ron strong if you haven't subscribed to my channel make sure you subscribe hit that like button hit that bell so you don't miss nothing support a homie you know how it goes Subas a la suburban let's go raza hey i want to talk to you about you know home chicago because obviously back in my day it was a very very different game just because of the structure and the uh, leadership that was you know, shown and, and actually followed. Uh, if you guys, you know, know my story, yes, you know, I, I had a bad falling out with my, my first organization that I was part of and then, you know, became a, a Latin King. But that wasn't, it wasn't normal back then. It, it was just it's something that not too many people did that, you know, and the ones that did, not too many people survived. They either got killed right away or something happened. Um, but right now, it's chaos. It's chaos out there. It's chaos um, uh, in the county jail. It's chaos on the streets. Same gangs are fighting each other. Uh, you know, GDs fighting GDs, Land Kings fighting Land Kings. As these, it, it's crazy. And um, someone in Chicago has a direct connect with high 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 caliber weapons, and they they putting them on the street. You know. Um, 
you know, back in my day, you had those, but you only brought them out when like something really, really bad happened. Let's say like, uh, uh, you know, when, when they killed one of the leaders or, or just something really, really bad, you know. Then, you know, other than that, it was all mostly all handguns. But, you know, they're, they're pulling out saw rifles now. And, and it, it's these kids are murking each other. It is it is it's getting really, really bad. And same thing in the Cook County Jail, man. It is, you know, back in my day, Latin folks sat with all the black folks and they they were very united very you know together and and they that's how it was structured you know put folks and people and uh, people have asked me to make a video to explain that and i i will later on in the future uh maybe next week but there were you know two sides two sides to the coin folks and people and that's how it was now it's just all out everybody gets everybody you know people shooting people this that like it's crazy and um a lot of people are losing their lives. A lot of these youngsters are losing their lives, man. They're, they're 19, 16, 17 years old. It's very, very sad. And one of the biggest reasons why I share my channel, I do what I do, is to hopefully I get one of those knuckleheads, hard-headed kids to watch my stuff and listen to my story and let me guide them on this trip called life because... I've been there. I've done that. I made it out. That's the thing. Not too many people make it out. And it is it is crazy. I get calls all the time because I have a lot of boys that are, you know, there are different organizations out there. I don't like to call them gangs because, you know, it's it just it's just a lot a bunch of lost kids. A lost kids looking for a purpose, looking to fit in, looking for for a lot of things and you know, I am nobody to judge them because I was that kid at one time. The only thing I could do is share my story, share my experiences, and hopefully guide them away from that and into a better life. This is why. And, you know, uh, we have a special guest today that's going to talk a little bit about it. And uh, he did some time with me on the streets. We were, we were at one time, you know... At the hip together every day, we uh, did a lot of stuff together, and we grew up together, you know, as kids. And um, it's one of the people that I talk to a lot still to this day, and you know, um, you know, it, it, it really, really makes me happy how he tells me that he's proud of the change that I made and everything that I that I did because I was a very, very lost kid, very, very into a lot of bad stuff. And I, I, I'm lucky that I made it out because it wasn't just the gangs. It wasn't just the drug addiction. It wasn't just, you know, all the women that I was, like, messing around with. It, it was the cartel. It was uh, owing money. It was getting robbed, getting picked up, getting kidnapped. It was all these things. So, like, I, I'm lucky that I'm here. I'm very, very blessed. And this is why it's so important for me to turn back and try to pull somebody out of that trench because it's the right thing to do. So... Let's listen to this guy. See what he has to say. Yeah, so I just um, I just looked up at this um, this other uh, county jail fight where they're saying pretty much there's the eternal war going on between all the gangs in Chicago, and I just wanted to get like your insight on it, like what's what's going on. I know that me me and this person, I'm not gonna say his name. Me and this person did back in the 90s, 2000, early 2000s. We did our our time on the streets. We gang bang. We did. We did a dirty business, we did, we did everything. But now we're in a new era where these kids are using social media and they're doing all these things and I just wanted to get his insight on like what's what's going on. Is it is it really an all out war with all the gangs going on in Chicago? No, no, yeah, it's, it's, it's basically all the gangs going on in Chicago. No, I, 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 I believe I know what you're talking about, but the eternal gang, and, and, I mean the eternal war in Cook County which is uh, like you said between between the Saints and the and the, and the SDs and and it's it's basically because these these gangbangers nowadays they, they get on social media and they sit there and 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 on Snapchat specifically they sit there and they, they give a location because they're they're supposedly these down ass niggas that say you know what hey I'm here I'm gonna give you my location come through well you give somebody your location dumb fuck. Here we go. Now, now I'm gonna I'm come creep in the gangway and I'm gonna kill you. And 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 these saints have killed 
within a couple summers a lot of SDs, you know, maybe three or four SDs, which which is which is a lot, you know, and and now these SDs are in jail, and 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 in jail you can't hide. There's no hiding. There's no guns. There's no anything in jail. You know, basically it's it's basically a shank. You fist. That's it. Now these saints are getting basically. Well, what, what they're supposed to get in the street, but they're the saints out there in the street are getting a lot of arms, meaning AKs, AR-15s. Uh, yeah, they they have they have a direct connect with the arms dealer, pretty much. Yes, basically they they, they got the connection with the arms dealer, you know, and that's that's why they're you know they're out here doing their thing. But when you go in jail, there's a, nobody's saving you in jail. Nobody's saving you in jail. No. That's like with everybody, you know, either you know how to fight, you know how to be this this guy this guy and, and if not then you know what hey only the strong survive in jail only the strong survive in jail and everybody sees what's happening now so only the strong survive in jail I, I don't know how to fight so that's why I used to make me big ass knife as soon as I got there well, you, you, used to, you used to pull hair so <laughs> you know as soon as I got there I would make me I would make me a sword that I would like tape on my leg so that way I could keep people away from me <laughs> No, but it's happening, man. And you know what I think is that, like we were talking about earlier, is that what happened is that the feds, the feds came in. They did all these RICO and and all these uh, conspiracy and all these indictments, and they picked up all the leaders from mostly all the gangs because they did the, they did the Kings, they did the SDs. Would you like me to speak on that? Yeah. I mean, because I mean, basically, this this is what's going on, and and I'm I mean. Uh, anonymous, anonymous me. I'm, I'm over here by myself. But I once, at one time, was out there and I used to take care of the streets and do all that. But it's this is the thing: is the cops came in and said, "Okay, you're a gang leader. We're gonna take all the gang leaders off the streets, and you know what? And we're gonna put them in jail. And then, okay, they put them in jail. Now the gang leader was still running the streets from jail." So they said, okay, you're still running. Through. Okay, now the feds came in and said, okay, now we're going to all basically bury you guys underground. You're going to go to the fucking max fucking prison to do all that. Now, these little kids out here don't have no leaders. And I'm not saying it's the right thing, it's a wrong thing, but it's you have no leaders. Now you got a bunch of chickens out, out here running around, running around with their heads cut off. So now it's basically block against block. It's not, it's not GD against Blackstone. It's not SD against... Uh, 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 kings, it's not kings against Lucy. It's basically kings against from this block against this block. It's GDs from this block against this block. It's not, it's not, there's no structure. There's nobody to say, you know what, you're fighting with GDs, you're going to get beat up, and, and there, there's going to be, there's going to be repercussions behind what you do. There's none of that no more. So, why? So, so, so when they did that, when they took all the leaders away, basically you just started a, a, a whole citywide war. That's basically what you did, but yet in a news media it looks good because you you do Operation uh, uh, whatever it is you know the with the Kings Operation with the TDs you do all that yeah it looks good in the media but look what you're doing to the streets I mean back in the day when you had gang leaders out here I mean I'm not saying you're supposed to uh, sit there and talk to gang leaders and say okay let's deal but back in the day cops used to come around and say hey look at Stop fucking fighting with these motherfuckers. Stop fighting with these motherfuckers. Otherwise, we're going to lock everybody up. You know what the gang leaders just say? To all the shorties. You know what? Chill out. Stop. Yep, Stop. chill out. I remember, I remember one summer where we had to chill out because we were going over there a lot every Friday. Yeah. And we had to chill out because, you know, that uh, Officer Beretta used to come around a lot. Yes. So I, I remember. And the thing is that back then, too, if, if we ever had an issue with another set from somewhere else, they would yeah. call a nationwide meeting right away and it was yeah. squashed and whoever had to get dealt with got dealt with. Yeah, exactly. You whoever, know? whoever the dumb fuck that went over there and got all drunk and went over there and shot at somebody, okay, you know what? We're sorry about that. You know what? We're going we're gonna to deal with him. We're going to beat his ass. And you know what? That Whoever he shot at, they were satisfied. Okay, you know what? They handled their, their internal fucking internal bullshit. Okay, you know what? It's done. That's it. But now it's like, you know what? Who is going to handle that? You got a bunch, you got one block that has 15 kids that are all from anywhere from 15 to 19. Who the, you, you, basically you have no dad over there. So basically these kids are running around like animals. And just, and, and you know what, and they have all the firepower in the world. They have all the firepower, because you know why? Because they're, they're out there selling their, whatever they got to sell and doing what they got to do. So hey, it is what it is, you know, and then look what you created. Look what you created. I mean, I, I'm not going to lie, when I seen 
that dude's um you know mug shot with the five nine on his face i was like man they must be banging hard over there now if they're putting their hoods on their face like that oh it's, it's, not, it's not so much banging hard i mean but i mean you think about when we were out there we we used to do what we used to do but it wasn't we we, we i mean i i put it this way you know what the people that that, that sit out there and put their stuff on their face you're, you're basically advertising for lock me up that's basically what you're doing. I mean, I, I, I think, me, myself, I think it's stupid. But you know what? Hey, it is what it is. You know, every generation is different. It's a new generation. It's a new, and, and that's what I said in one of my, one of my videos that in Chicago, it wasn't, it wasn't known for you. You always had your gang tattoo somewhere where you could cover it because yeah. everybody gets jobs. They work in unions. They, they double hustle. They, they work a job that pays really good and they hustle on the side. It's like, uh, it's something that was taught to us as a kid. Yes. And, and basically it's just, you know what? Basically you're, you're, you're doing, you're, you're doing your, your, your illegal shit with your legal shit, but your legal shit supersides your, your, your illegal shit. So you, now you're not, now you're just, you're just doing your thing and you have your family, you have this, you have that. And you know what? And all the, all the stupid boats they used to do back in the day when you were on the block, now the shorties are out there doing their stupid shit. But yeah, you know what? I mean, with these little guys with their shags now, I mean, you're basically advertising for the police to pull you over to do what you gotta do. I mean, you know what? It is what it is and they, they do what they do. But you know what? Like my, my whole, my whole point of this is, is you know what? These gangs out here nowadays, even in the Cook County, you know what? It's, you're, you're basically, one day you're going to have to get dealt with. One day you're going to have to get, not, if not from your gang, from another gang. If not from this or from that. It's, it's going to happen regardless. You know what? Karma's a motherfucker. Believe me. I've dealt with karma like a motherfucker. But like I said, it's, it's you know, it, it is what it is. And you do what you do and, and you live your life. And hey, you know what? You, you you deal with repercussions and like like you know best that that you dealt with repercussions of jail time you know you dealt, you dealt with repercussions of of you having to live this life of 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 you know hurting people that that you love that you when you were locked up or whatever and and same thing with me you know when i was locked up it's you know what i see my mother come to see me and she she walk out the fucking visit room and cry and bawling her eyes out and me i had to be the man to say you know what i can't bawl my eyes out i'm in fucking prison I'm in prison. You ain't gonna see me like that. I ain't gonna be no fucking, no, no, no motherfucker like that. But you know what? It killed me inside. My heart went cold because you know what? It killed me inside to see my mother walk out the fucking door and ball her eyes out. But you know what? I was a gangster. I had to deal with it. You know what? I had to go back in the fucking cell and say, you know what? Hey, niggas want to get down? Let's get down. Yeah. But you know what? It is what it is. No, it is. It is. And uh, we made some choices that we had to make. And. Uh you know, we're, we're lucky that we made it out. We're lucky that we made it out with, you know, there's a lot of other uh, cats that we know that are not coming home no more. Yeah. You know, and um, I, I hate to say it, but it, it is part of the game when, you, when you're in that game. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's not what it used to be. The whole uh, gang thing is... To me, it's played out. It, it's done. You know what I mean? It, it's that's, that's basically there's, it there's no loyalty. There's no there. There's no brotherhood. There's nothing. When when we were out there, we pretty much ate shit, and we did everything together. Everything, you know. It was, it was, it was we we come out and we go get each other. We come out and we be together all fucking night long, chilling, fucking relaxed, and 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 it was. I didn't go in unless you went in. You didn't go in unless I went in. And then if you were by yourself, I was there with you. I said, you know what? I'm not going unless you're going. I'm not going in unless I know you're safe. And that was the brotherhood that was uh, out there back in the day. You know what I'm saying? But you know what? Hey, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? I'm not knocking anybody. Nah, hey, nah, nah. Little, little guys nowadays, do your thing. Hey? We're, 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 nobody, we're nobody to judge the new generation, man, because we, we did it. So we're, we're just... We're, we're old school compared to them, man. They're a new generation. They're doing their thing. Hey, all I can say, stay safe, be smart, and, and just do your thing, man. Like, you know, it, it, that's all I can say, really. Yeah, basically, basically, you just, you just put it in a nutshell, bro. Basically. But, you know, I ain't nobody to judge, man. So don't judge nobody. Everybody... Nobody knows why they're doing what they're doing. Nobody know, knows what they've been through or what they're going through or what's about to happen. All you can do is be supportive, be there, show them you care. And, you know, like I said, give somebody a hug. Stay in your lane. Don't judge nobody. Live savage. 
and live your life to the fullest because you never know if you're not going to wake up tomorrow. Remember, if you live hard, life is easy. If you live is easy, life is hard. And I am the poster boy for that. My name's JC. I am Ron Strong. I love you guys. I'll catch you guys on the next one.